Welcome, welcome to One Minute Crypto. I'm your host, Kronos, and today I want to show the subtle but powerful effect that regular trading can have on your crypto portfolio. We're going to take a look at a relatively long-term investment here. We're going to look at investing $5,000 in crypto and then what it does after 30 years. And we'll look at trading once per month versus not trading and see what happens to your investment. The rate of return I'm going to give us is 1% per month, which comes out because it's compounding to a little over 12.5% per year, which is a very good return for a typical investment. But because crypto is so volatile, and high risk, I'd say it's pretty modest in that space. So let's pull up a calculator here and put in the monthly return. And we'll start with the monthly return. That's going to be 1.01. This represents 1% growth because if I multiply it by any number, I'll have that number 1% larger. And now we're going to take a look at what this is over a year. So what we do is we raise that to the 12th power, which basically multiplies it by itself 12 times. This is going to be 1% growth, 1% growth, 1% growth over and over and over 12 times. What we get is 1.126, and that is 12.6% growth annually. So this is how much growth we're going to have over the course of a year. Let's look at 30 years. So raise that by the power of 30 to multiply it by itself 30 times, and we get a 35, almost 36x growth to our investment over 30 years. Sounds amazing, but you do have to keep in mind 30 years is a long time. So that's why that's growing so much. Now we'll multiply this by our initial investment of $5,000. And we get a total return of 179, almost $180,000. Wow, this should definitely raise your eyebrows growing just 1% per month turns 5,000 into 180,000. So you've definitely learned the power of compounding over time. But now let's take a look at what happens if you've got fees involved. So we'll start over, take that same return, 1% return, but now also every month we're going to make one trade. Now a typical trading fee is 0.2%. A lot of exchanges charge more than this, but if you shop around and find a good rate, you're going to be paying about 0.2. So what we're going to do is take that out of the rate of return here by subtracting 0.2%. 0, 0, 002. And now the result is the net effect in one month because it's going up by 1% and then down by 0.2%. So the result is up by 0.8%. So this 1.008 is representing 0.8% growth. So this is the growth over one month. Once again, multiply it by itself 12 times to get the growth over a year. So now we have what effect this is going to have on the money in one year. Let's raise it to itself 30 times to get the growth over 30 years. And now we're looking at a 17x growth. That looks a lot lower. Let's multiply this by our investment. $5,000 and the total return over 30 years is 88,000. So 88,000 instead of almost 180,000. This is less than half the return simply by paying that fee once per month. Why is this? Well, the fee is compounding. It's like a reverse compounding that's hurting you because every month you're paying a tiny percentage. So when you're looking at making a trade, you need to consider the fees on that trade because regular trading can quickly eat away at your investment. If you have thoughts on this, I'd love to hear what you think. Throw your comments below the video. I'm Kronos. Thanks for watching.